is what is called California buckwheat or Eriogonum fasciculatum. And the buckwheats in general are wonderful uh, low water plants. One of the wonderful things about the buckwheats is how much the bees love them. These are two leaves from the western redbud, which is the Circus occidentalis. And the western redbud, after which our redbud chapter is named, is a locally native tree or shrub that everyone, I, I think, everyone should have at least one. They pop up uh, as volunteers in many fool's yards. Um, they can grow as a tree or as a shrub uh, depending on how you want to prune them or if you want to prune them. They have year-round interest. Uh, in the spring, the magenta flowers come out first and you just have this swath of gorgeous magenta flowers. And then as the flowers begin to fade, you get the bright green new leaves and they're just a beautiful shade of a bright green. And then in the summer, you get these, you know, the leaves turn to a richer green and they're just this beautiful round shape, just lovely. And the tree is a fairly delicate looking tree. And if you want, you could prune it to look a little bit more Japanese in style if you wanted to, but you don't have to. You can just let it be its own self as a tree. You could prune it to be more of a multi-branch shrub or not. And then in the fall, then the leaves turn a beautiful, beautiful autumnal colors, just rich gold colors. And then if you're lucky, uh, depending on the sex of the tree, you might get seed pods, dark brown to black seed pods, and then the tree loses its leaves, and you might get the seed pods hanging on if you had seed pods, and then the tree is bare of leaves, but the structure of the tree is just beautiful absolutely beautiful in the winter and of course if you get a little snow then the snow kind of sits on the branch that's of course gorgeous you could go take pictures of that and then in the spring you get the magenta flowers again there is nothing more beautiful in the yard than a red bud tree this is one of the most magnificent pollinator plants in the world because this is one of the plants that monarchs lay their little eggs on. And this is a native milkweed that is native to Nevada County and I think also Placer County. It is native to most of California. So this is what it looks like when it's in bloom and this is what the flowers produce when they go to seed. Here are the teeny little seeds, which are so ready to just blow away and produce more milkweed plants somewhere. It's important to grow only locally native milkweed. And there are three locally native milkweed. The narrow leaf milkweed, the showy milkweed, and the heartleaf milkweed. Those are the, there is a fourth one, but it doesn't grow well. So those are the three to grow in, uh, in Nevada County. And the reason to grow only locally native milkweed is because if you grow something like tropical milkweed, which is often sold in nurseries, um, it, is, it, it does not grow dormant at the time that the locally native milkweed grow dormant. And if that happens, then the monarchs stay and keep consuming the nectar of the milkweed that is not dormant. And so they stay and they miss their opportunity to head towards the coast, which is where they, they should be for their winter overwintering grounds. And then they don't get there in time and then they die. They don't leave in time to get there. And then those are monarchs that are not available anymore to repopulate for the next season.
we work to preserve and educate about and help people enjoy and garden with California's wide diversity of native plants. We work specifically with people in Nevada and Placer counties. We have a membership of over 290 members. We have groups that people can participate in whether they're members or not. We have field trips and we have groups on ethnobotany, which is how people use native plants. We have horticulture group, which is people who like to do gardening with native plants and people who do propagation of native plants. We do advocacy for native plants in both Placer and Nevada counties and we do education which is working with school groups throughout the counties.